If you are like me, you spend a ton of time working in PowerPoint, getting it looking just the way that you want it to. But I recently started working with Microsoft's Copilot to help me with my PowerPoint. I am over the moon about how awesome this tool is. So I wanted to make a video sharing what really cool things you can do with Microsoft PowerPoint and using Copilot. So first I want to talk about what is Copilot. It's generally speaking, it's Microsoft's term for their AI assistant, just like how Google has Gemini and Apple has Apple Intelligence. Copilot is Microsoft's version of their AI tool. It is integrated to all the Microsoft tools. So if you use, if you're one of the few people that use Internet Explorer, it's used as a search functionality for that. But it's also built into their tools. So it's built into OneNote, PowerPoint, Word, Excel. You name any Microsoft product, they have it built in as part of it. So most likely as of recording this video, if you have the Copilot on the actual apps, desktop apps, it will probably be costing you money It's part of the um, individual and family plan. It's part of the business plan, I think, as well. If you have the general home plan, it's probably not going to be on that. It'll be on the individual plan, the family plan, and the business plan. But generally, if you have it, it'll show up. I'll show you on the screen where it's located in Microsoft PowerPoint if you're interested in finding it. And with that, let's jump into what cool uses you can have with Microsoft Copilot. The first big section is the section that I'm really excited about, which is smart content generation. Now, content generation, generally speaking, is not really, hasn't really evolved much since the first initial or the second initial launch that OpenAI had. But what I will say about Copilot as it relates to PowerPoint is it understands the context of what needs to be on a slide and how much room you actually have. So it's not just spitting out a paragraph, it's giving you bullets or it's giving you smart recommendations for what needs to be on that slide. And it'll be able to pull from other information. So if you have information on Microsoft Word or if you have data in Microsoft Excel, it'll be able to pull information from that, from those different documents and then pull them into your PowerPoint. So it'll do things like summarize data, create headlines, or just give you key bullet points that you need to know for your PowerPoint. It'll also generate infographics or different charts. So if you're pulling information or if you have, let's say, five bullet points and you say, turn this into a cool version, it'll auto generate things for you as well. Number two, it'll give you design recommendations. Now, I don't necessarily need this tool as much because I am my background is in marketing. So I understand kind of the, the design language, what looks good, what doesn't. But I get a lot of my coworkers who will message me and say, hey, can you make this look pretty? And so if you're one of those people that you're like, hey, make this look pretty, Copilot is able to do that for you. It can give you customized aesthetics. So if you have a look that you're going for or you're trying to make it more visual and not as text heavy, Copilot can help you with that. Or if you are using a brand template, if you're using brand information, it, it can follow those templates and, fo and create slides based on the context of what you have before. The third thing is image and media suggestions. Let's say you have all the generative points that you need. You're trying to figure out what image would work best and you just can't find the right image for the PowerPoint that you're working on. You can type in what type of image you're looking for. So Copilot will access stock libraries for images that are free to use for you. And it will put the most relevant images first based on what it knows about the content that you have in your slides already. Number four, it has automated formatting. So once you find your image and once you are trying to figure out where to put it, you can just drag and drop it and it will auto format where it needs to go, what it needs to look like and crop it correctly. And if you're working with a template, once you make a change, let's say you update your logo in one of your slides, it'll auto update, auto format every other slide for you knowing that that's the image that's connected that you need to update. Number five is something that I use all the time, which is rapid slide creation. So if you had to start a PowerPoint from scratch, the biggest question is, what am I trying to say here? And if you work with Copilot, you can actually say, here's the points I'm trying to get across. Here's the story I'm trying to tell. And it'll be able to auto create a slide deck for you where all you have to do is go in and say, okay, maybe this data isn't right here, or maybe I would use a different image here, or maybe this is whatever, but it'll take whatever you're trying to say and give you a first draft so that all you have to do is go back into that first draft and change, maybe change some of the slides, change the slides around and adjust the story, but you don't have to start from scratch and you don't have to worry about where that content is coming from because Copilot already knows what you're trying to do. Number six is collaboration and sharing. Now, this is a feature that is available in some other PowerPoint features. So if you're using like Google Slides as an example, you can collaborate in real time or if you're using Canva. 
You can add, you can comment and edit in real time. With Copilot, you can use real time authoring, so you can collaborate with your teammates in one document and be able to make those edits while still using Copilot as part of the process. And if you need to share, you can just type into Copilot and say, "Give me a link that I can share with my coworker," and it'll auto create a link for you, and you can send it directly from there. Number seven is content summarization. So if you are getting a PowerPoint and you don't necessarily want to read every part of it, but you want just a quick understanding of what it's about. Copilot can summarize the entire slide deck for you. Even if it's 100 slides long, you can type in the side and just say, give me a summary, and it will be able to condense everything for you and give you a quick maybe five to 10 bullet points of what the slides are about. And this is cool because if you take this as a training as an example, if you have one slide that's really technically heavy or dense, and you can ask Copilot to give you the synopsis that will help you better retain the information, even if you don't know all of the technical nuances of what they're talking about. Number eight, and my personal favorite, is storytelling assistance. I usually don't like to use AI or generative AI to just write everything for me. I kind of want it to be a partner in crime, so I will be able to write it, but I might need a little bit of guidance or I might need a second, you know, how do I phrase this better, things like that. If you're that kind of person and you're looking for someone, someone to bounce ideas off of, when it comes to creating a PowerPoint, let's say you're creating a PowerPoint for a conference and you, you know, you want to make sure that you include this information, but you're not really sure how to do it in a storytelling way. Copilot can be there to assist you. So you can just simply ask, here's what I'm trying to do. Here's the story I'm trying to tell. Does it make sense for me to go this way or this way? Does it make sense for me to put this slide here? What information should I include on this slide? Copilot will be able to assist you with that storytelling and be able to be used as a sounding board for idea generation or different storytelling tools to offer you maybe a infographic that you wouldn't have used otherwise to make your presentation just feel more like a story than just a slide, a slide, a slide. I'm interested to hear your feedback. If you have used Microsoft Copilot, let me know in the comments below. And if you're still wondering if Microsoft Copilot is worth it for you, check out this video I made about is Microsoft Copilot worth the hype? And with that, I will see you in the next one.